your second practical is read a text file and display the number of vowels consonants upper case lower case characters in the file now this is very easy logic will be you will use read and then one by one for loop you will use one by one character now this is a character so here we will use read and then for loop will take one by one character and we will check whether it is a vowel or consonant or if it is upper case or lower so i just want you all to solve this question i will save it use with the practical one now yes tell me that first comment i am writing practical 2 so aim will be your practical 2 i'm just copying the question and then you will start with the answer be ready with your answers who is telling the answer you will first tell your name because i have to internal marks will be on that only yes who will tell this answer same yes, input sorry. you have to take as you have taken in the previous one switch on your mic fast miss yes tell now let me type when you are telling the answer yes rupam start with the answer first line will be always miss sir miss dev miss you are going to write a function function yes very good so we will use the write yes, function okay i am doing one thing i am copying from above so you all know first will be your write function so this will be same so i am simply copying it from here yes so this i have copied it same thing story i am taking and now will be your program yes now display only i am giving the name now tell me the answer a is equal to open story dot txt comma r next line y to While true, while true, or directly use the read command to read it. It will be faster. Clear f dot read. You can clear. Yeah, so words character. Ha huh, character you are taking. Yeah, okay. Ha huh, correct. Then after that. Let me open it first. Then if ch is equal to. No, you directly take one by one character. Okay, sorry. This was your paragraph. This was your para means full paragraph. It has taken yes for ch one by one character you are taking. So in from paragraph you are taking. Okay, now if ch equal to equal to if ch in a i o u yes if ch in in A E I O U in small as well as A E I O U in capital. Yes, correct. Next. Yes, and then uh, we will first uh, declare a variable v is equal to zero. Yes. Now four variables you require for vowels. I am count vowels. Then for consonant, see count consonant. then upper case and lower case so four variables i have declared initially all the variables will be zero so here you have to count the vowels first so cv is yes. cv is equal to 1 yes next, next one for consonant what you have to write if ch is in um, not, not in not in a i o u hmm. then cc plus is equal to 1 yes and then if ch 
dot is upper is equal to equal to true then it is a function equal to equal to uh, even if you don't write true then also it will work ha huh? correct with true also you will get plus ha huh? then if ch and dot is upper is lower then dot is lower. bracket open close and then cl plus equal to 1 yes so this is over now next is here only you can display it so here only i am displaying it all the four so user friendly so what you will write here number of vowels is see yes now same thing so i am simply copying it for consonant for lower and for upper and here i will change it consonant so it will be cc same variable names you have to write here now upper case alphabet so upper case capital letter so it was cu and for lower case so this was given in question only lower case it was c so over so now i don't think anything else is there i am simply copying the main program as it will be same only the function name i will check it function name is also right and display so it is same so i have just copied and pasted only this write in a file will be same display number of so here this i have to change it number of vowels then consonants upper case and lower case character clear total numbers of this characters so this i am copying from here and i am writing in this instead of this now number of this yes now this is over so i will execute it yes yes i am executing it in ideally also or here also you can execute it okay here also you can execute it only you have to Miss. Yes. Miss, in uh, not in uh, um, during counting of consonants, it will also count the white space and other special characters. Miss, oh. in that function, yes. not in. So here, alpha also you have to write. Very good. Yes. So first check will should be your alpha, and then inside this you should check. is alpha you check it and then you do yes, it yes. upper lower okay so first i am checking here very good if ch dot is alpha then only it will yes enter and i am just tap yes so this is now correct first i have checked whether it is alphabet and then only lower case upper case and uh, vowels and consonants so let me run execute it and see yes now write in a file so story dot text was already written once upon a time there was no covid now append means it will add in that so i am writing one only and it will add in this so enter story so add we are adding it 
we used to go to school we used to go to schools yes now we will enter it and this is over now we will use two to display and it will count now capital letter is three vowel 37 consonant 41 actually too much we have written lower case is 75 so let us check here three capital letter once upon a time o is capital rest all are small once upon a time two times i have entered so it has appended in that so o here and o here two o are capital here and here just now i have entered here we used to go to school w is capital so three capital letters are there if you want to check it better is i am writing a different name for this story one i have written so that very easily you can just see so now again i am executing it now again i will write in a file so in this i am writing some vowels some consonants and some capital letters and some small letters now you can see it will print here when i will press enter and then two i will enter here now you can see number of vowels a a a e e five five vowels correct number of consonants b b sdf five yes correct upper case asdf four yes correct lower case a a b b e e six so answer is correct clear you can enter a nice story and you can write the output just to check it i have written some i have just entered some garbage value you don't enter any garbage value you write a proper short means one line story short one data you give and then you write the output so how to write in your copy i have told you this will be your aim then you will write the logic what will be the logic here for writing we are using write function then for reading and character wise i will use first read for to read the paragraph and store in p then one by one character using for loop I am accessing is alpha I have used for alphabets. And then I have used here if ch in aeiou for vowels, not in aeiou for consonants, is upper function for upper case, is lower for lower case. Clear? So this in short you write the logic here and then the program. So first logic you write yourself and then the program already it is written here from here you can copy in practical copy and then the output will be on white page so this and is your what will write? this output practical copy left hand side white page is there in white page output you have to write like in I will okay I will share with you the practical copies old practical copies you have to buy where the left page is white and the right page is ruled like in physics chemistry all the subjects you all are buying and on rule page you write this portion aim logic and program and in front of that the left page is white where you have to write this output this output you have to write clear exit last one will be exit so three you press it and have a nice day so this complete output you have to write you have to select one then two then three and it will stop clear now the third practical is 